This is a quick video to discuss just the subtlety of uh, how the project browser and properties palettes nest and how you change them. This is the stock configuration. Uh, you'll see the project browser is usually at the top. If I want to nest it differently, I can pull using the cursor on the title bar of the project browser, for example, and pull it into uh, isolated on the screen. I can do the same thing with the properties palette. Uh, the key thing to, to notice is that when you move it around, it's based on the location of the cursor, the, the point on the cursor. So if I put the project browser back on the side, nothing really happens. I don't get any docking behavior until the cursor is at the edge. That's when you see the ghost of the frame there. So now the project browser is nested. Now if I take the properties palette and hover next to the edge, it'll nest it next to the project browser. Now if I do the same thing, pull it away, go to the underside of the project browser's title bar, you'll see that I've got a ghost of the window nested above. Now if I pull that away again and go to the title bar, if you look at the bottom of the screen without moving my cursor down, which is where I lose it, you'll see that there's a tab that displays now. Now to remove this nested behavior, I have to click on a tab and drag it into empty space. Okay, so it's very subtle. Put it here and it's going to nest the properties palette above the project browser. Move my cursor up a little bit and suddenly it's going to create a tab instead. The other thing that's kind of subtle is if we hover on the inside edge of the project browser, now this adjusts the width and this initially doesn't respond, or at least it has a minimum sort of size, but you can move it around like this if you drag it out completely and nest it on the outside then you get a slightly different response when you try to drag these two bars. Very subtle. It's all about where the cursor is, and it's about where your cursor, when you're looking and what you're watching the screen for. Otherwise, you're going to get strange results. So pay, pay, pay close attention to your cursor, and it should help.